Hey guys, I'm sick and this was a request from someone. It was a Shoji X listener and this one is Shoji X reader by softboy underscore dot octo on Wattpad. And I'm tired. I'm probably not going to have the best reading consistency, I'm sorry. But do I ever have the best reading consistency? No! <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's just get into it. Yeah. It was your first day at UA. You were walking down the halls looking for your class, which was class 1A. Tons of thoughts were going through your head like a train. What if they think I'm weird? Do I look like a delinquent? Is my skirt too small? Will they look up my skirt? Because of all... Because of your height, 183 centimeters, six foot to be exact, and your very thick figure, your skirt looked really short. Obviously, you weren't the size of a normal female and they only had one size of uniform. Oh boy. Oh boy. Feel bad for somebody having to go to class 1A. While you were deep in your thoughts, you had reached your class. It wasn't long until you heard a deep voice yell, Damn it, Deku! You think you're so good? Gotcha! I... You stood there by the door, just listening. You were way too scared to enter the classroom. You felt like you could die if you even looked. You just sat there and thought, Is it too late to turn back? Time skip. In the end, you walked into the classroom, when you looked through the doorway, you saw two males shorter than you. One had green hair, and the other one was blonde. The blonde haired boy was threatening the green hair with explosions sparking from his hand. Apparently, the blonde haired guy's name was Kachan, and the green one was Deku. At least those were the names you got from them telling at not telling, yelling at each other. But everyone else called them Kachan, Bakugo, and Deku, Midoriya. So you were guessing those are their actual names and Kachan and Deku were just their nicknames. You were only halfway to your seat until a short purple boy came up to you and just stared at you. You thought he was crazy until he, you followed his gaze. He was looking at your breasts. You, you pervert! Why are you just staring there? You were yelling so loud that everyone in the class stopped their talking and looked at you. You looked around and saw everyone looking at you. You quickly removed your hands from your sides and looked down completely blushing embarrassed. Madara, you shouldn't be looking at a woman in the chest area. A blue haired male rushed over to where you and the pervert stood. He kept swinging his arms in the air like he was a conductor. <laughs> this is why I love Ida. You had found out he was the class rep Tenya. Its name was Minetta. Well, you had just found out another classmate's name, although you thought you wouldn't like him whatsoever. But then he said something that really set you off. Your breasts are huge! You sat there, staring at the little pervert in anger. You just looked at him, not saying a word like you were about to murder him. The way he looked at him, he knew exactly what you were thinking, and he did not like it. 
I mean... Before another word escaped his lips, Yusaku punched him so hard you sent him flying across the room and knocked him out. Everybody looked at you in surprise. This time, you didn't care if they stared. You turned to face everyone in the room. Listen here. I dislike perverts, and if anyone dares to mess with me in any kind of way, you will end up just like Manetta. You then continued to walk to your chair. Obviously, someone didn't take you too seriously because after you sat down, Bakugo came up to you. Who the hell do you think you are? You looked at him straight in the eyes and said, I am a listener, and if you have a problem with me, we can settle this after class. But right now, I suggest you go sit down and get out of my way. The angry blonde just gave you a low growl and walked away. Oh, God. <laughs> Time skip. It's been a few minutes you started to wonder if you were, if you even have a teacher. The teacher hasn't shown up, yet everyone is just sitting in their seats silently. You sat behind the tall haired, behind a tall white haired male with four extra arms. Ooh. He looked like he was at least two inches taller than you. You were tapped on the shoulder to get, you tapped on his shoulder to get his attention. Um, where's the teacher? He's over there. The giant octopus male pointed towards the front of the class. All you saw was a sleeping bag. Our teacher is a sleeping bag. No, our teacher is in the sleeping bag. You looked again to the sleeping bag. It had slowly rolled over to your surprise. Your teacher was in the bag, wrapped up like a butterfly in its cocoon. He had had he had black hair, sleepy eyes with bags underneath them, and long hair that reached shoulder length. He had a stubble on his face and a scar right underneath his left eye. Scared you a little bit. What the heck? The hobo was slowly unzipping himself from his cocoon, and then he stood up. Hello, class. <clears throat> Hello, class. Today we'll be taking a test. The whole class booed and sighed. A test on my first day. Great! Another time skip. Finally, it was lunchtime. Being new and all, you didn't really have a group to sit with, so you just planned to sit by yourself. Not like you always didn't eat at your old school. You just sat by yourself all the time because people thought you were scary for your height and you always got into fights and things like that. As you were walking to an empty table, you heard someone call to you. It was Izuku. Hey, come sit with us. There's plenty of room. To be honest, you didn't really want to sit with people since you were already sitting by yourself, but you didn't want to be rude, so you went to sit with them anyway. You sat between the tall haired white male who sat in front of you in class and a guy who had a bird head you didn't really get a chance to see it in class but the white haired guy was kinda hot you kept staring at him not knowing that you were he finally looked back at you hi I'm Mesa Shoji you are you snapped out of it when you heard his deep voice. You fa your face began to get hot and red. You found this, the sound of his voice, really hot. Oh God, the way that this is written. 
I always feel like my soul is leaving my body when I have to read something with that word. Oh, I'm listener. That name, or fuck. That name is so cute. Really? Your face started to get darker in color. Did he just call my name cute? Okay, okay. Evan. It was a compliment. Stay calm. Yeah, really. Thanks. Before Stroji could say anything else, the bell rang. Saved by the bell! Oh well. We should head out to our class. We could talk to each other another time. You, sh you shake your head up and down quickly before jumping and running off. You didn't even get to eat your lunch. But, well, you are, really didn't care. You met a cute boy who talked to you. You stood in the middle of the hallway for a few seconds. Do I have a crush on him? Okay, I'm done. <sighs> Calling someone's voice sexy is the thing that got me while I was reading that. Oh, wait, right. I remember that. I used all of my fucking wet wipes. So now I have to leave my domain to get more. Anyways, <laughs> hope you liked it. I'm gonna have to edit this tomorrow because I don't really have school tomorrow. I have like, if I'm correct, today was, yeah, today was Monday. I still have tomorrow off and then Wednesday off. So I'll edit this tomorrow and then do another thing after I post this. But yeah, uh, see you later. I'm gonna wipe off some stuff of mine and then go to sleep. Uh...